In this video, we're just practicing factoring where a equals 1. If a is not 1, then there's probably a GCF that you need to take out. So on number 1, we have the 1x squared, so we're going to draw our parentheses, x times x. Now we need numbers that multiply to give us 4 and add to give us negative 5. So if they multiply to give you a positive, they have to be the same sign. Since these add to give us a negative, we know they're both going to be negative. So negative 1 and negative 4, or negative 2 and negative 2. Well, the first set adds to give us negative 5, which is what we want. The second set adds to give us negative 4, which is not. So it's going to be x minus 1 and x minus 4. Again, if you write it x minus 4 times x minus 1, that's the very same thing. So that order doesn't matter. Okay, on number 2, when we look at number 2, you'll see that a is a 3. So is there a common factor? Yes, 3 and 9 and 6, they all have a 3 in common. So we start by factoring out the 3. So we get m squared plus 3m plus 2. Now we have just an m squared, so we know it's going to be m and m. And we want numbers that multiply to give us 2 and add to give us 3. Well, what multiplies to give you 2? Uh, 1 times 2. Oh, look, those add to give you 3. Perfect. So m plus 1 and m plus 2. This next one, it looks like the numbers get really bad, but we see that they have a 5 in common, so the first thing I would do is take out that common factor of 5. So we get x squared, and we're going to divide 85 by 5, so plus 17x plus, and then we're going to do 360 divided by 5, 72. And now our a is 1, so once a is 1, we can just draw our parentheses and say x times x gives us that x squared. Now we need things that multiply to give us 72 and add to give us 17. So we could try 1 and 72. Nope. 2 and 36. No. 3 and 24. 4 and 18. We're not there yet. We're trying to get 17. 5 doesn't go into it. 6 times 12. Nope. 8 times, eight times 9. Uh, that's our pair. 8 times 9. So plus 8 and plus 9. Remember to keep the 5 in the front. It's part of our final answer. Now this next one, we don't have a common factor, so we can go ahead and start with b and b. And again, we need factors of negative 72, like, but on the last one we had positive 72. So what if we just make one of each of those negative? Which of those factor pairs is going to give us a sum of 1, because that's 1b in the middle. It's that last one, so it would be minus 8 and plus 9. All right, hopefully those extra practice problems help.